Hey, what's up? It's your boy Hasa Kicks, HasaKicks.com. And not today's a new pickup. As a matter it might be a new pickup, but anyway, I want to talk about something that a lot of people seem to be talking about on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or whatever. It's early releases and all the BS that come with it. You know, it's a lot of talks. People think they're fake, people think they're B grade, people think they're this, they're that. And frankly, nobody really knows what they are. When you're buying stuff before the release, you never know what you're gonna get. All I'm saying is you need to be careful when you buy your shoes. You need to trust the people that you buy your shoes from. You know, and, for, and by any means, if you don't understand what I'm saying, because I do have an accent, make sure you ask me questions and I'll reply at my best convenience, all right? J-Star 25 talked about it. Joe Venuto talked about it. There's a lot of people that talked about it. And I'm not gonna hit on anybody, because you know what? They are trying to help. And I appreciate and I respect every single one of them. Now my thing is this, now people just want to attack and attack and attack and attack and saying this is this dude is selling fakes, kick soul is selling fakes, soul land is selling fakes, such and such is selling fakes, and you know, I, my name is Asa Kicks, you know my website, you know, I try to be as thorough and, and then clear as I can be when I sell my shoes, because I don't want people getting their stuff and thinking I'm trying to jip them, that's not my point. So what I have today is I have three different pair of shoes from three different sellers. These I bought from Foot Locker, size eight. These from a, um, a, a, a website that I, I might talk about towards the end. And then these from my own supplier overseas, all right? And these is also from overseas for a different supplier. So I view this dude is, is my, my own connect. You know, I trust him and I know what I'm getting when I buy stuff from him, so yeah. And I kind of want to talk about these three shoes. I'm going to show you some differences. And now you decide at the end of the video what you want to do with it, all right? So recently I went on YouTube and I saw this guy was kind of blowing up on his website. And there's a website called Our Store. He said, well, yo, check this out. It's all thank Jordans and all that. And then people jumping on it, buying and buying and buying. You need to know what you're doing. Don't just jump on it and start bandwagoning when you don't know what you're doing. But... So, like I said, you know, you need to recover what you're doing, and I will show you some differences. All right, these shoes were bought from Foot Locker, all right? So, obviously, you can see there's a sticker on the box, FTL, that stands for Foot Locker, and the box is here. It's the box. You know, I wish I had the same size for all three of them, but I don't. You know, now look at the, the box. You see there's a, some kind of stamp number here. I think that stands for the store. I don't know why they have that stamp number, but that's something that I noticed. Okay, and the box, when you look at the box, it kind of feels smooth, you know, it's really smooth. And the paper, a little thick, and, uh, and this plastic cover kind of smooth, a little bit shiny. And, and, and it's, it's, it's not that, it's, it's not too, <coughs> what I say, I, I don't know the term to use, but uh, it's really, really shiny. Okay, now these shoes were bought from a, a website that I'll talk about, Our Store. Okay, and I look. The box, the texture of the box is not quite the same, you know, there's some lines on it, you know, it's, it, this is a little blacker than that, and when I looked here, there is no apparent step number on the box, now I'm not sure why, you know, and the paper, um, see, the paper doesn't look quite the same, okay, and on the third one, the third one was bought from my main, my, the dude that I bought from overseas, and this is the paper, this is this, this paper, this is this paper, and I, and I looked at it, he has a stamp number here. Now, I don't know what all that stands for, okay? So, and this is the size eight and a half, by the way. And the box, the boxes, these are the boxes here. This is the box, uh, the Foot Locker box, and my, this is the box of my, the guy that I buy from. This is the box, all right? Okay, now, let me get into the shoes now, okay? So, so that's one thing in the boxes. We, we've noticed some differences in the boxes. Okay, next thing. Okay, let me put the, uh, these shoes down. These shoes down. Okay, this is the one from Foot Locker. And this is the one from our store. Okay, when you pick the tongue up, everything quite looks the same. Everything quite looks the same, all right? Now, this is some kind of bump here, but that explains it. You know, it's a bigger size, so I don't know why. The stripes, 
three, three, whatever, you know, dumb people that want to get all technical with everything. The back, same thing, you know, when you look at it. Okay, and now, when I felt the shoe, I started touching them. And I noticed something funny. Now, that's the thing that I noticed. Now, if you look here, you see this? When you touch it, it's this soft, soft, I don't know what it is, but it kind of is a little too soft. And when you look at this, I wish you could touch this. See, the letter is not the same. This is, they're both cheap letter, by the way, you know, but this is more thick, hard, it feels like real letter. And these, it's a little bit, looks like too synthetic, microfiber type. And this is more like leather, and this is more microfiber. Now mine that I get from my other supplier, my main, is the same as the one from Foot Locker. Same thing, and I'm not trying to promote myself or anything, I'm just trying to show you the differences, all right? This is the this is the one from our store, and this is the one from Foot Locker, and this is mine right here. See, when you touch them, there's major differences here. So I'll put this back here, and now when you when you look at a carbon fiber, you flip the shoes, um, flip the shoes. Okay, now the red quite everything else is identical. You know, when I look at the bottom of the shoes, all three of them are laying right here. Everything is quite the same. I don't see any differences here. I do not see any differences here. Okay, I do not see any differences. And other thing is, when I look at the, the plastic covers, when I look at the plastic covers, this is the one from Foot Locker, I already showed it. This is the one from, you know, and then this is mine, right here. So all I'm saying is this. Now in all these three shoes, some people might get this, you know, that's from Foot Locker, and some other people might get this. That's from the dude, uh, the R-Star guy, all right? now. Which one is fake, which one is real? Obviously, everybody thinks the one from Foot Locker is real because this is from Foot Locker. But this is, I, I, you know, like, if they are fakes, if if they are, and I know they're not, then that's some damn good fakes, you know. And I know they're not fake, but are, are they using cheaper material? I don't know why. I do know this. When Apple, Nike, or all these other companies, they make stuff for overseas, they do have different standards for different target market. It's called parallel product or uh, parallel importing when you buy from overseas or you buy from other places sometimes the product that they make is not quite the same standard like um, I don't know like iPhones for example uh, Apple might make Apple might make something different for the people from Hong Kong so like I said you know Apple might make something different from Hong Kong uh, users not from United States users. You know, the same thing with appliances. You know, sometimes the, the, the voltage is not the same. So who's to say that they're fake? They may not just be made for that target market. You know what I'm saying? So don't be so quick to judge and, and call people out. Take your time and, and do some, you know, educate yourself, learn. You know, the same thing with um, um, gray market product. Gray market product, you know, like sometimes, I don't know, they might not be authorized to be sold in the United States, but yes, they're fine in, in the freaking, uh, what you what you call Hong Kong. You know, I've seen some dawn back and forth, and people claim they were fed because the tongue on the, on the real ones uh, is, is kind of overlapping, and, and then the one on the, on the, that Kickstarter was selling was too short. I mean, it's like all kind of stuff, man. You, you look for little things to try to point out unnecessary stuff. Either you buy it or you don't buy it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who's to say? Why are they selling it? Why is Nike allowing Marky Soul to still be in business? Why is Kick Soul still in business? If they were selling fake, I bet you the feds would shut them down. It's like, you know, it's just, the standards might not be the same, but I don't believe they're fake. You know, that's my point of view. So just, just relax. You know, but when you buy overseas, you need to be careful. You need to do your research because I personally don't like these. I don't like this material they use here, it's too soft for me, I don't like it, and so I won't be buying there anymore because I don't like this. You know, I like these right here, you know, I like these and I like this for my, for my supply, I like these. You know, I don't like that, this is too soft, so that means I'm done buying from this guy, but am I going to call him out and say he's selling fakes? No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that because 
who knows maybe in that target market that's what they were selling you know so i know what fakes look like okay so so stop being like so uh, judgmental you know and just take your time and learn all right i'm, I'm done talking you know this is house of kicks stay tuned for more shoes